Hello, friends, enemies, and netizens. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Taper TV. Today, we will be exposing the only agenda you need to worry about. So frequently in our polarized political contexts, we hear about agendas. It seems each group has their own plan for the new world order. There is only one that matters, the furry agenda. Today, we will be exposing each phase of this plan. Let's get into it. Phase one. The first phase is the normalization or the mainstreaming of nerd culture. This really hit its peak with the release of The Dark Knight in 2008. One of them. You're not, even if you'd like to be. This is evident in the dominance of superhero movies of the box office since. Frequently, there is a mantra repeated. Hey, being a geek is cool now. It is the self-referential justification for the existence of this derivative parasitic mass of superhero movies. They're hip. They're in. Everyone wants to see the next Marvel movie. These two. The logical succession to comic book culture becoming mainstream is the popularization of anime and manga. Everyone and their mother has seen anime nowadays. With the prevalence of anime, we see the rise of cat girls and the consumption of hentai. People are embracing the cat girl or boy aesthetic. E-girls are wearing animal ears and the internet is turning into a jungle. Another important element of this culture is the ABO subgenre. It has gained popularity in recent years, and it describes a world of six genders. So you have the two primary genders, male and female, and then you have three subcategories of alphas, betas, and omegas. Betas are regular people with no special qualities. However, alphas and omegas emit pheromones and alphas can get omegas pregnant, regardless of the primary sex. So this whole world view is based on wolves and features things like being in heat and nodding. Look that up yourself. These ABO worlds have characters with animal characteristics but it they don't always have to be external so they're not always going to have ears sometimes they look just like regular people that go into heat like a wolf <laughs> on all levels except physical i am a wolf <laughs> but sometimes they do phase three currently we're in phase three we are here with the beginning of the normalization of furries a lot of furries are socially awkward people just looking to make friends or join a bowling league where they can wear their expensive fursuits. From artists like Megan Thee Stallion to movies like Zootopia, we see the seeds of acceptance being sown. This Zootopia video only exists because of the normalization of anime. Worse yet, Zootopia is a good movie. We're going to watch it again and drill these messages into our heads. Sites like National Geographic are covering furries and furries have become a meme. But how long before they're taken seriously? Phase four. Phase four is the rise of the furry billionaire. We already have furry millionaires, pro gamers like Star Fox have made it to the Forbes 30 under 30 list in their fursuit. What do furry billionaires mean? Well, I'll tell you. Lobbying. Imagine the furry Koch brothers. 
Furry lobbyists will start pushing for furry interests like recycled bottles going towards fursuits. Movements that will manufacture consent for the furry agenda. Although these bottles, it's just a hypothetical, this larger problem of us being primed for these new policies and laws is well underway. Phase five. Phase five is the final form of the furry agenda. We will have state mandated fursonas. There will be a furry registry that will be integrated into our already claustrophobic surveillance state. So why am I even making this video? Well, I want all of you to be prepared. I don't want you to be scrambling last minute to decide what your fursona will be. And I don't want you scratching your head and then deciding five months later, I don't like this animal, but too bad. You're stuck with it. You're in a database. I want you to think for years before this comes to fruition about your costume design, about what you're going to wear, because you're going to be wearing your fursuit all the time. We're all going to walk outside and be in our suits. You're not going to see a human face anymore. Just plastic fur. I'm so scared. I'm really so scared for all of this. And that's why I'm making this video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment. This is my first YouTube video. First of many? Who knows? Yeah, share this with your friends, family, people you hate, people you feel meh about, you know. I appreciate 